no, sorry, I went to New Kids on the Block there. <laughs> and now we're all singing, step, ba, step. All right, team. Um, so the goal of today's session is to give you the tools to live your ultimate life, your best life. And how we do that is by setting micro goals to maximize our progress, right? To understand where we are at now, where we are going to, okay? Uh, with that said, I'd just like to ask, has who's been on the K2Fit challenge here before? Can I just get a raise hands? Has everyone done K2Fit at some point or another? Ye almost everybody. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, um, quick, a uh, quick thing about K2Fit, who we are, so you guys know who we are. Um, so I'm Coach Kara. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for opting in and joining this workshop. I'm the head coach of K2Fit. I've been a coach for 20 years. Um, also on the call, I'm just going to get them to wave, okay, guys, because I want to get into the, like, the, the heart and of, of this workshop, okay? But real quick, um, we also have Coach Christy on the call. Coach Christy is waving there. Uh, crazily awesome amazing um coach elizabeth is also on the call today there she is very zen i'm a yogi i wave slowly <laughs> amazing we have two other coaches on the call actually right now um coach paul there's coach paul and coach panda as well so we have a myriad of coaches on the call today to welcome you guys. Um, but yeah, just to let you know who we are real, real quick, because I know everyone's kind of been on K2Fit. We've been doing online challenges for the last 10 years, guys. Um, I think all of you have experienced it. Uh, it's our goal to help people smash their goals, whatever they may be. So why I wanted to run this workshop today is to like dive deeper into what we don't necessarily do in the challenge. Okay. In the challenge, it's you get your programs, you get your meal guides, you get your recipes, etc. Like you get everything laid out for you to follow along, but you don't necessarily get like one-to-one -one coaching or group coaching like this, where we can dive deep into your goals and really think about why and how to get there. So I wanted to run this to give you guys a taste of what that what that is. Um, actually, while I'm speaking about it, we this is actually normally our, our 365 call, which is our personal coaching call. Um, so our, our lovely K2Fit 365ers who are our personal clients that would do one-to-one -one coaching with us and group coaching have allowed us to run this session to because they love people too. They want people to hit their goals. So 365ers, can you just give a wave if you're here? I see a ton of you. Amazing, amazing, cool. Thank you guys for sharing the space with these guys. All right, so with that said, guys, uh, my goal is to help you. So at the end of this uh, session, Q&A, okay? I'll ask questions as we go to make sure that you're you're getting the most out of this call. Um, but stay here so you can ask any question you want about health and fitness. <laughs> it's like within reason, guys. You know? <laughs> what do I eat for breakfast? Sure, if you want to know, but what 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 can I help you with? Okay. Um, also at the end of the call, before the QA, because if you have to jump off, I know people are busy. We want to give you the value. And if you have to go, that's that's okay. Um but I'm gonna give you one offer that is like worth $500 that I'm giving away for free tonight. So just I'm, I'm just gonna lay that out there. Let's do the workshop, get the value, get you guys goal setting, make sure you're hitting your goals. And then at the end, I'll give you uh, one offer and then Q and A where you guys can ask any question you want. Again, within reason, <laughs> within reason, health and fitness to your goals. Are you guys ready? Can you get a thumbs up? All right, cool, 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 cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my screen. Um, no, I'm not, <laughs> where is it? Here we go, hold on, hold on team. So, okay, it's a joke that I say over and over, but it, it, it bears saying uh, I'm an excellent, excellent health and fitness coach. I am horrible at technology, but can you see my screen now? 
amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna make it big. Ooh. Okay, you guys can see my screen? Thumbs up. Sweet. All right, so how are you living? Uh, what we're gonna do is goal set and plan so you have some strategic things to put in place like right now, this immediate moment, like starting tonight or tomorrow, whatever you want, okay? So how are you living? We're gonna go through that. And what we're gonna do is go through areas of our life and don't jump ahead, okay? Listen, let's let's absorb together and work together as a team, okay? Um, when we're trying to hit health and fitness goals, it is not just about the one hour a day that you go to the gym, okay? It is not, you cannot go to the gym for one hour a day or 30 minutes in a day and expect results immediately, right? It's about all the 24 hours in a day that we have. So we have to actually look at our life from the outside in. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going, you can take more time outside of this workshop, but for now, we're gonna go one by one area of life. I want you to rate how you're feeling in each area of your life from a one to a 10, okay? 10 means like, awesome. I shouldn't sing, but I, I like to do it. So I'm just going to run with it. So one is not feeling good. 10 is amazing. Okay. Feeling awesome. So of course, as your head fitness coach here, uh, fitness, I would like you guys to take a moment and think about where your fitness is at and where you'd actually like it to be. So where are you at in your fitness goals right now? They can be any goals, we'll go into that later. But for right now, fitness wise, from a one to 10, where are you at? Write it down. I suggest not putting number seven. The reason for that is because it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a meh way of being like, Meh, I'm at a, like a, a seven, like a, I got a C plus, I like passed in my class, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'd rather you like be a little bit hard on yourself with a six or a little bit like, yeah, I'm like at an eight, but I want to get to these levels. So try to avoid putting a seven. Everyone got their number? Okay. I'm going to roll through these because I want to get through all the content, um, but I will ask as we go. Uh, if you like, I would love for you guys to take accountability and put your number in the chat. Just write fitness six, fitness eight, fitness 10, fitness nine, whatever it is, so I can see where you guys are at right now. Aaron, if you could get your cat to also rate the fitness level, that would that'd be great. Um, so we're going to move on to healthy eating. Okay. So we have about three to five meals in a day that we take in. Okay. And we're always having to make conscious decisions. Is, is it healthy? What am I putting in? Um, I'm not going to go too, too deep because it, it, it's such a broad range of things that you could be doing right. There is no wrong with food, by the way, guys, there is balance. And I will talk about that as well. But how healthy are you eating right now? Where could you be at? Where are you at? Um, so rate that between one and 10. Thank you guys for writing in the chat where you're at. How did I write on my screen? Did you, do you see that? No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> I'm looking, I have no idea how I wrote on my screen there. Um, do you guys see these blue marks? Yeah, I made it. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, oh somebody that. else made it. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay. Um, team, I'm just looking at the chat real quick. Um, also, healthy eating, write your number in the chat, okay? make yourself accountable. Take this time. We have an hour together to take this time to really look inwards and see where you're at. It's, it's not a shaming thing. It's not a, you're doing awesome thing. It's just a, Hey, we're going to assess where you're at right now, where you want to be. Okay. So take the time, healthy eating. What number are you at? So keep writing in the chat, please, please peeps. Uh, work. 
All right, work. Do you like your career? Are you enjoying where you're at? Are you overworked? Are you underpaid? Are you overpaid? <laughs> if you are, good job. Um, <laughs> but how is your stress level at work? Do you enjoy the people that you're surrounded with? How could you make your work uh, more enjoyable? That you wake up in the morning, on Monday morning, who wakes up in the morning on Monday and goes, I have to go to work. <laughs> Does anyone do that? I feel like there's probably a few people in the world that do that. Um, where's your work at? How, how successful do you feel in what you're doing in your career? Mm -hmm. Write it down. Write it down, guys. Write it down on your paper. Put it in the chat. We want to see it. Okay, I've got my coaches here. They've got eyes on the chat. I've got eyes on the chat. We want to see where you're at. I'm a rapper now, apparently. Okay, so adventures. Uh, are you having fun? Are you having fun in life? Are you taking time out for you to do something adventurous, pleasure, massage, self-care? Where is your adventure level at? I'm going to keep rolling through these guys. Keep writing in the chat. It's important for you. It's important for us. Mostly for you. Uh, environment. Okay, so environment, your physical location. My, my peeps. Uh, wait, who's on? Can you guys uh, mute just because? Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, environment, location, my people, my people in China. Um, I think a lot of you are in China right now. And I understand how difficult that is, can be. But how are you feeling in your house, your city, your country, your in your day to day environment? One to ten. Family. Um, how's your family life? Do you guys sit and have dinners together? Do you contact your mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle? Um, are you taking that time out to connect with people in your family? Are you fulfilled there? That's a that's a important one. If you don't like your kids, you have to keep them. No, I, I've been told. I don't know. <laughs> I keep trying to get rid of cable, but he keeps coming back. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so mindset peeps. Um, where is your mindset at? Okay, uh, years ago when I got into coaching um, online, the online space actually, uh, people would be like, Coach Karis, what's mindset coaching? You talk about this mindset coaching because people thought if you go to the gym for one hour a day that you just get results. That's not how it works because all of these things are in incredibly in important for our goals, reaching our goals. So is your mindset like, are you, are you happy, healthy, feeling good, stressed, overworked, um, just where are you at? You can, you can take it how you want. Where's your mindset at? Spirituality. Uh, you can take this as religious or you can take it as personal development. You can take it as karma. You can, however spirituality fits into your life. Where are you at? Are you practicing something every day that makes you feel fulfilled? That's how I would look at it. Is there, is there something that fulfills you every day outside of all the things that we have to do? Are you taking that time for you, self, self care? Zita, I love, I love your facial expressions. They're so good, buddy. See, this is why I need the camera on. She's like, hmm. <laughs> and I can see her. So it's, it's perfect. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so write down where you're at, guys. Again, I see the chat blowing up and I love it. And thank you so much for participating. One to 10, where are you at? Uh, love, love relationship. This can be your partner. This can be your pets. This can be your family. Again, your kids. I don't know why Cable keeps coming back, but he does. Um, what, what, whatever you want. How are your love and relationships these two actually really kind of tie into each other for the purpose of this uh slide we're going to dive deeper in the next one um but just to get you thinking about where you're at right now 
Are you fulfilled? Are you feeling loved? Are you giving love? And then last but not least, you can get rid of these guys. <laughs> friends are your friends i mean rid of them gently i mean yeah <laughs> but um are your friends in line with you do they make you feel good do they bring you up do you bring them up do you do you feel encouraged do you have a good relationship yes we fight with our friends our family our koala bears i see some on the the screen here um this the, it's normal to have conflict but in a general way um, and it's not general because that's super important. If your friendships are colliding more than they are filled with love, entertainment, encouragement, positivity, um, support, then are they, are they friends for now, friends for life, friends for ever? So where are your friends at? I'm just gonna look at the chat real quick, guys. This is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, team, any questions you wanna ask real quick before we jump into the next bit here? Does anyone have any question? If you do, just raise your hand uh, on the thing. Okay, we'll keep blasting forward. Remember, at the end, of the workshop. So we've got um, some goal setting to go through now. I explain it to you guys. At the end of the workshop, I'm going to give you um, one bonus worth $500, not quite for all our China peeps, $500. Okay. Uh, so there's going to be a bonus, but uh, after that, there's a Q&A. So if you have more questions after we've gone through this, stay for the Q&A and ask me. I'm happy to stay here, help you guys do whatever you need to get to your next level and your goals. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually focus on the next three months, okay? Because some people have goals that are... I mean, I have major goals. You, everyone has major goals, where they want to be, their ultimate goals that they could be at in like... 12 months or I was going to say 12 months or a year. This is my good <laughs> counting again. Um, 12 months or a year, you could do this. Um, so we have big goals that we want to hit, right? In 12 months, two years, five years, uh, where we want to live, where we want to be at, how we want to feel, etc. But what I want to do is break it down into a three-month chunk, okay? Um, does everyone agree that they could look at the next three months and go, yeah, I, I can focus on three months and hit some goals in three months. Would that be a, an attainable timeline for everybody? Can I get a, a thumbs up or head nods or just looking through the chat? Everyone, okay, three months. Yes, okay, head nods. Cool. Just now it looks like we're in a Metallica band. Bon Jovi, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an 80s kid. Um, okay. So what I want you to do, I want you to choose three of the areas that we just talked about that would be your top three that are the key to focus on in the next three months. Yes, we could work on all of them, but let's just narrow it down to three things that you want to work on. So I'm going to give you two minutes of just quiet time. We'll try to not talk, guys. Um, here's the areas of life, three things that you want to improve on. And don't think of how that will be yet. Just think of the three things that stood out the most to you in these areas of life. Three things that you're like, I want to do better at that, or I want to feel better at that, or whatever spoke to you. Three things. I like how you guys in the chat, by the way, are not using sevens for the most part. It's amazing. Um, friendship, 
lots of eights, nines, some 8.5s. <laughs> One more minute, team. Just write down your three top things. Alexis, did you do it, everybody? I see you laying down there. Did you write them out? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, guys, again, if you like, and if you want to share it in the, the chat, number one, fitness, number two, uh, love, number three, environments, whatever, whatever it is, but make sure you're writing it down at least for you in your workbook, in your notes, whatever it is. Nice. Healthy eating, love, relationship, work, fitness, mindset, work, fitness, mindset, relationship, fitness, environment, mindset, fitness. Okay, so seeing a pattern here of a lot of fitness, which is great, of course. Hi, I'm a fitness coach in case you guys, well, of course you knew. That's why you're here, right? You guys want to hit fit goals. Fitness, healthy eating, spirituality, spirituality, love, relationship. This is why we have other coaches too, Zen, mindset eating, nutrition coaching. Yeah. Cool guys. Keep writing them in. Um, okay. So if you haven't got your three, just write them, but I'm going to go to the next screen. So we have enough time to go to Q and a and stuff. So based on these three, that's six, three that you put up. Okay. So in those three areas, can you choose for each area? What would a win look like in a three month period? So just for ease, I'm going to use lose weight as, as, as an example. Okay. So if one of your things was fitness, um, then it could be lose weight, want to fit in my old jeans, um, get in shape on a six pack abs, uh, get in shape so I can dance on the dance floor um lose five pounds so I'm not out of breath when I'm playing with my kids like what does that win actually look for look, look like for you in three months the super important guys the the why to this to understanding like what area you want to work for and in and what it actually looks like will help you succeed I, I could give you a percentage, but I'd be just throwing something out there. I don't have an exact percentage. But once you understand your your why and what you're actually working towards, it makes it much, much, much more accomplishable. That's not a word, but I'm Kara and I make stuff up. I wrote a book, so apparently I can do that. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. What does a win look like for each of those areas? Write them down in the chat, write them down in your book. Thank you guys so much for taking this time to do this for you, um, spending this time with me and the team. So we've got some, some coming in. So fitness, less four kilos, mindset, keep motivation through a 7K run. That's cool. One social event per week for a relationship. That's a great way of like fine tuning it. Amazing seeing Just do one more minute, guys, of thinking about what this win looks like, okay? Muriel, you dive deeper than that. <laughs> Captain Muriel, you dive deeper than that, buddy. Just be more fit. You got this. What does that mean? You do so many, like, big lifts and, run, like, you do amazing things. So just go and, yeah. I know you've had a little bit of a few, a few setbacks, but what does that mean to you, buddy? Dive a little deeper. You don't have to put it here, but dive a bit deeper. Aaron, participate in sporting events without lagging behind and being out of breath the whole time. Yes. And fit in your favorite clothes. Good. These are great, you guys, coming in. Fitting into old dresses. Mindset, feel better in situations. 
cool you guys Re reduce stress be more organized okay amazing team I mean I could read all these right now like I am but um just again for purpose of getting through and making sure you guys get the 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 most benefit as well please keep writing it in because my team are looking at the chat I'm looking at the chat we want to see it um we're your coaches we're, we're we're here for you to hit your goals okay and this is part of it Rodrigo, Roy, lose weight, get in better shape, improve my resistance. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So you guys have a good grasp of what a win looks like in the next three months. Cool. Everybody has that. So now let's, let's dive a little emotionally deep peeps. So how are these wins going to make you feel? I understand you've like narrowed it down to an area you want to improve in what that actually means like how you will improve or how you will measure your improvement right so you can actually measure see whether it's fitting in dress going out to social event all these things how you you can measure your win but now this is super important this is diving deeper into the why how will these wins make you feel how will you feel when you can run a 7K? How will you feel when you can fit into your clothes better? How will you feel when you can keep up with the kids without gasping for air? And I hope they don't laugh at you, but I'm just, gonna just I don't know. Who knows what kids do? They say the darndest things. We don't know. So how will these wins make you feel, team? Um, happy, accomplished, confident, like all the, all these things that you can like think of, give you more self-worth, feeling better when you wake up every day, put them in the chat, confident, awesome, less stress, more comfortable, happier, confident, less stress. How cool, how cool would that be, right? It's all feeling happier, confident, less stress. Like seriously, smile, laugh more. Confident, proud, accomplished, under control of my own life. Oh, so good. So good, you guys. Um, we, we literally have our life at our fingertips in, and we can control so, so, so much of it. Yes, we cannot control things like pandemic, lockdowns, quarantines, these kind of things, but how we go at life and how we go at our goals, we ultimately have a lot, a lot of control. And when you can take that under your wing and hit these goals, you, yeah, Rodrigo, thank you for sharing that. Like, you will feel proud, You definitely. Aaron, feel like an adult. Good. <laughs> We're all adulting. Excellent. Happier, functional, less depressed. Yes. Feel like I'm appreciated. Yes. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Like, honestly, you're like putting it out there. And this is like super cool. Um, please, if you like need want have have more things you want to share after just share it to me I, I i'm sorry i can't help it but i just i love to help people and and i i just see all your amazing goals and i want you guys to feel happier feel appreciated be the ultimate you be relaxed happy calmer david thank you for sharing work fitness okay team um, just so we keep it flowing, keep it going. I'm trying to be a rapper. I'm not mm -hmm. actually, it just comes out. I'm just natural at it. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. So this is the last, but not least, uh, because we, we have one more thing after this, but the last slide I'm going to go through with you guys. Um, how will I celebrate? So this is something kind of cool, like to, to like, just take a minute to think about, so I like to break it into these, like how I celebrate for myself,
for my family, for, for my community, but you don't have to do that. You can do it however you want. You can celebrate um, in any, yeah, any way you want, right? But how will you celebrate? Like if you've hit your fitness goals, or do you want a new wardrobe? Do you want to go out on date night? Do you want to, yeah, like just anything that makes you take, take a minute and give kudos to yourself and, and celebrate your wins because they should be, you've spent three months, like really aiming for a prize. Let's call it that. I just throwing that out there, aiming for a prize, but I want you to do this for you guys, but, but it's nice to celebrate these things. It's nice to celebrate wins. So, um, something like for family, like if you can travel, you want to go for a trip, day trip, spa, vacation, um, for your community. Uh, th that's, I, I think that's just one that I, I like to do because I like to do, um, charities and things like that. It makes me feel good. And when I'm in a, in a real big high, when I've had a lot of wins, I'm like super pumped and motivated. So that's a way to celebrate for me. So take a minute more guys, write down, how will you celebrate? Write them down. Spa day. Yes. Spa day is amazing. Buy new gym shirts. Do something special for your partner. Nice. Give yourself a vacation outside of China if possible. Yes, I hope so, guys. Sending you all my love from now outside. Trip with my parents. Trip with your parents? Is that how you celebrate? Oh, wait, no, sorry. That was for yourself, for your community, for your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You must have amazing parents. No, that sounds awesome. Um, so trip parents, new gym clothes, amusement park, Universal Beijing or Disney Shanghai. Cool. These are awesome guys. Yeah, exactly. So you can take more time and, and do these things, okay? Like really understand and give yourself that time where you're like, yeah, I did something amazing for these last three months. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna, yeah, celebrate. Uh, with that said, uh, one of the things that I didn't mention before, the reason I talk about three months, three months is a really, really good time to attain goals, but it's also because Christmas is coming up. Um, does anyone here celebrate Christmas? Mm -hmm. Can I get a hands up if you celebrate Christmas? If you don't celebrate Christmas, can I get a hands up if you go to Christmas parties? <laughs> well, only one person? No, there was a couple. <laughs> okay. So, so, okay, team. So what I like to really try to share out, and if you guys, I think a lot of you have followed me, uh, followed the K2Fit Challenge, understood what we do and what we, we stand for for a very, very long time. But I'm just going to really quickly talk about Christmas because it's important. And New Year's. Let's just talk about New Year's in case you don't celebrate Christmas. Okay, so Christmas, New Year's season's coming up. Who here are teachers, actually? Can I get a hands up for teachers? Teacher, teachers, te tons of, okay, like a lot, a lot, a lot of teachers. Okay, so you have holidays at Christmas and New Year's, whether you celebrate them or not, right? What happens on holidays? Anyone? Do you want to answer in the, the chat or um, you can write it or... Caitlin, Caitlin, great food, drinking, eating. Everyone's like, food, drink, <laughs> work, no workout, lots of food and drinks. <laughs> eat oh my god holidays we do anything we want right our fitness goes like out the window we're like screw it it's christmas and new year's and i'm gonna live it up and i want you to live it up to an extent okay <laughs> I, I i do want you to balance but i totally understand this because i do the same guys i'm not a teacher i'm an online fitness coach i've been doing this for 20 plus years i understand how the human mind works how our bodies work how we um emotionally 
uh, engage in social situations, networking and festivities, festivus, all of us for the rest of us. Um, so yeah, we drink more, we eat more at Christmas and New Year's. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. We drink more, we eat more, right? Everyone said it in the chat. So I'm gonna assume that everyone's like, yes. So my reason for doing this right now, other than inspiration from some of our captains in the challenge too, to encourage me to give this out free, is because these three months are super important. Um, can anyone count the months to Christmas? It's not three, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, September, October, November, but it kind of is, okay? It really kind of is. It's three months. You got September, you've got October, you've got November. Did I do that right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, you got those three. And then what happens in early December is that festivities start to happen and we start to relax a little bit more. So I want you guys to take these things away from today and look into them a little bit deeper because I know we ran through it like th this kind of coaching guys it takes a, a, a lot longer really to like dive dive deep so take a bit of time after to really go through what do you want to achieve in three months okay so I want this to be your Christmas goal it's a really weird way of putting it but this is your Christmas goal or your New Year's goal you've got three months and why I want to focus on this so much, because remember, I just said, we drink more, we eat more. We're careless. We go to more parties. We have more kids activities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It all piles up and our routines go by the wayside. I'd love to tell you that you could be hundred percent on routine, hundred percent of the year. I'd be lying to you. If fitness coaches are telling you that, then they must be fitness models, not fitness coaches living the real world. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do for these next three months is hit your goals as best you can. So smash goals. So you have a little bit of room to play. Okay. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds counteractive, but if you, if your goal is five kilos, you lose five kilos, but at Christmas, can everyone say we probably put on about five pounds or maybe two kilos at Christmas, Five, about, it's right, it's, it's about there, it, it, everybody is different, um, but I'm just being realistic, so of course, guys, just real quick before we jump into our Q&A, I said I'd give you an offer, okay, the 10 week challenge is coming up, those of you that have been on the 10 week challenge know how valuable this is and how it helps you hit your goals. Okay. So the next one starts September 26th. What I'm doing today, I'm going to give you guys 24 hours. Christy told me I should give you guys 60 minutes, but I'm going to give you guys 24 hours. Okay. So if you join this challenge in the next 24 hours, I'm going to give you our wellness bundle for free. Our wellness bundle is extra private coaching like this where you get one-to-one -one with our coaches, our coaching team, okay? You get um, loads of extras that aren't included in the challenge. It's worth $500, okay? It's got journaling, breath work, stress relief, uh, the works, okay? So it's a, it's, it's a bonus package that we've just added in this season. So if you join the challenge in the next 24 hours, you get this $500 bonus for free, okay? I'm not going to try to convince you more than that. I'm just going to let you guys know. Okay. I will tell you again later. I'm not going to convince you. I'll just tell you again later. <laughs> so what I want you to do guys, guys, honestly, it's, a, it's my bloody duty to tell you guys about the challenge. We've helped 6,000 people hit their fitness goals. I want you guys to hit your goals. I became a coach to help as many people as possible, like hit their health and fitness goals. And this is like key prime time. Again, I'm going to punch Christmas out there. It, it, you have three months to make some massive changes and then you have some leeway. If you don't start now, it, it, it's just going to roll, keep rolling. Um, but yeah, it's my duty to, to tell you guys that this is an opportunity. So join the challenge within the next 24 hours. You get the $500 bonus for free. Okay. And I'm going to check the chat and I'm going to stop sharing because I want to see your beautiful faces and you guys can ask any questions you want. So I'm going to stop sharing. 
who was writing on the screen was that you christy no <laughs> so nani. it's nani okay let's blame nani okay um catherine alexander you've already joined do you still get the free package yes for joining this workshop i'm absolutely going to give you that for free 100 percent, no problem uh catherine discount there's no discount but the 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 extra is the bonus is that you get it for free actually catherine you're in 365 so yours is free buddy you're already in you're set you're golden so yeah just if you're part of 365 if you didn't know this guys our challenge starts september 26 you get all the programmings on top of our personal coaching and personal programs that are customized to you as well so that's there for you let's open up the floor team um questions about your own personal goals this is the time we've got we've got like 15 minutes team been doing this 20 years you have like one at least expert in the room and other coaches wave coaches in the room that have their specialties as well Uh, is Rodrigo hanging upside down? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, he is. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> you, look like hanging, you look like you're hanging upside down. Okay, I don't know. I don't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the, the kitchen, basically. Because I'm in the, in the kitchen, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see Paul, you have a question. Oh, I have my uh, not so much a question, but we did uh, just do one of our coaching sessions was about setting goals. And one of the things we talked about then that we didn't talk about today was setting those micro goals, the incremental goals to get to that big goal that you want to accomplish. And I thought that might be worth a mention because Yep. As you said before, when we look at the big goal a long way down the road, it's hard to project ourselves to that point. But if we make those little incremental steps along the way, okay, well, what do I have to do to get here? Not what do I have to do to get all the way to the end of the of the road, right? Yeah. So what are the small things that you can do to set yourself up for success to accomplishing those goals that you're looking at? That's awesome. Thank you, Mady. Um, <laughs> I like how your name's Loza on this uh, on this iPad here. Or, um, buddy, do you want to? I I, I want to kind of put you on the spot. You gave me some things that you inc like implemented this last week that I said like those are those are micro goals. These are the steps that the consistency that's going to get you to your goals. Do you want to share by chance? Yeah, I know. Somebody okay. calls me Laza. It's what I, yeah. Anyway, Laura, but I, I sometimes like remember to change it. Laza. <laughs> I think a, a British guy gave me that nickname. Aussie British. Um, yeah. So I think uh, one of mine was just to like start having a salad with dinner and like to try to especially eat that first. That was one of the small things. Oh, it was changing out my caramel macchiato every day from Starbucks and just doing like a Nespresso skim latte. So just kind of like, and I'm like, I can do that. I don't have to have a caramel macchiato every day. I can do a Nespresso skim latte, but I'm not giving up the coffee totally. Exactly. I can do that. Yeah. So good. And like one of that with the caramel macchiato, like are one of my I don't know if you guys see my TED talk um but Misty who was a K2Fit client for years and now she's a coach too which is super cool um she lost over 70 pounds with K2Fit and the first thing she did was just take sugar out of her coffee she's like it's the only thing I could do on a day-to-day -day basis to get in a habit get in a routine because it's these small tiny micro goals which coach Paul just said micro goals that lead up to big massive change it's not flip the switch of everything all at once. What can you do that, that you actually can see like in the next 
week. So you've taken out caramel macchiatos. Amazing. Salad every night. Amazing. These are going to add up to massive change. So that's just creating the habits, behaviors, and routines that we need um, to, to create these, these changes that lead to the goals. So good on you. And thank you for sharing. And from now on, you're Lola. <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I also like that idea of like, I'm adding something or substituting, not taking away for like my mindset. That's helpful to me too. Nice. Nice. Cool. Um, team, before we, I, I know people are busy and have to go. I love these calls. Uh, I, I feed off them. I love connecting with people and coaching people. Um, but I also love recording it. I like to take a, a selfie every call. So if you don't mind, can you turn your camera on and give me your pretty beautiful smile ever? <laughs> and I'm just going to take a quick photo. Okay, team. Ready? One, two, three. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for turning it on. Awesome. You want to be a koala. She Venetia's back to a koala. <laughs> um, okay, I checked the chat, guys, just to see. Uh, okay, team, any more questions? If you have to go, that's okay. Bye, Caitlin. <laughs> You're my best friend's character.